Which you guys, today we're taking a look at how to use ChatGPT to create content online. Now, if you don't know what ChatGPT is, it's OpenAI. And we're gonna take a look at how we can use this to create content. Now, I'm no expert when it comes to ChatGPT, but I'm just gonna show you basically how you can use it. So you can write articles and you can even create content like videos and other things like that. So I'm gonna tell ChatGPT to write a script or 59 seconds about PC backup. And this is gonna create a script for us for 59 seconds long about PC backup. So you could use this as a short video. It's gonna give us some intro music and then it will uh, narrate a bunch of other stuff on here, a voiceover. And we can add the voice a little bit later on using also another AI uh, program which we can use. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this finish off here. And you can see it's already writing this out for us and then we can copy the script and use another site to actually create our video. So let's go ahead and let this finish off. And uh, remember, this is only a 59 second uh, bit of content that we're creating here for maybe say a short video or something along those lines. So that's now completed that script for us. Now, whether this is usable as your own content is debatable. We will cover that in another video, whether you can claim this as your own content. So let's go ahead and finish off what we plan to do here, which is create a video content with ChatGPT. So I'm just going through here and checking some of the instructions here, some of the steps to make sure they are to my liking. Now you may have seen a bunch of videos on YouTube claiming that you can use this method to basically create viral content and make thousands and thousands of dollars a month without doing any hard work. You can also get your channel to go viral and make millions of subscribers by using this method. All this is uh, clickbait, of course, and it's just to get uh, clicks on your videos to make you watch it. Don't believe all that stuff. But anyway, back to the video. We've got our content here, and what we're going to do is we're going to use this content, and we're going to put it into another AI site, which is going to then create our video for us. So let's go ahead. I just want to quickly show you if we can do a longer video. So let me go ahead and paste in another uh, title here. So we're going to do write a script for five minutes about PC backup and see what happens. I just want to see what it comes up with here. So it's going to write another load of script here. As you can see, announcer, welcome to Tech Savvy, your guide to all things tech. Now that to me sounds like it's pulling this information from somewhere off the internet. I could be wrong, but it's just the way uh, this article is written. So it just looks like it's just taken from someone else's uh, creation. But anyway, we'll let it finish off. And uh, basically what we'll do is we'll create some content from it. And uh, we'll take a look at what it looks like once we take it to the next level. So I'm going to speed this up and move on to the next stage. Okay, so I've copied that text now, and you can now go in here and edit it the way you like. So obviously we don't want Welcome to Tech Savvy because this is not related to me. But again, if you are gonna be using this on your blog or on your videos, then you need to make sure that you're not infringing someone else's copyright. So I would obviously scan this onto one of those sites to check for plagiarism to make sure that this has not been used before. Now you can get also this uh, websites that shuffle uh, content that actually makes it different to what the original was. But again, this also can be flagged. So you've got to be very, very careful. I'm not sure how uh, these sites, Open Chat GPT, is doing this, but basically you just have to be careful if you're going to be using this. I wanted to bring this to your attention because it's important as a content creator that your content is purely your own and not someone else's. Uh, and you're infringing their rights. So just bear that in mind if you're gonna be using chat GPT for this particular type of task. Okay, so we've now got our content and we're gonna go over to Pictory and we're gonna use script to video and we're gonna basically copy in our script that chat GPT has created for us and we're gonna paste it inside here. So this is the power of AI and this is exactly what the craze is right now is using these AI websites to do certain types of tasks. So we're gonna go ahead and give this video a name. So obviously we're gonna use something like the beginner's guide to PC backup, and we'll just put something in here. Now you can be more creative with your particular types of uh, topics, 
just be careful if you are using this for, say, for instance, article writing, because again, you just need to make sure that it is unique content and not someone else's content that it's pulling off the internet and using. Okay. So I've pasted in the uh, content that ChatGPT created for us here. And basically, I can now go in here and tidy this up if I wanted to. Corrects for spelling mistakes or words that I don't want to use. I can remove, say, for instance, the brackets with announcer. And you'd go inside here and edit it to suit your needs, okay? To make it look nice and clean. And once you've done that, you can click proceed. And this will take you to one of the uh, templates that they have to offer, like Lemon, Corporate, red ink and stuff like that and this will just basically put the text into a video format so you can do this and do a voiceover on it if you wish or you can even use another ai site which i'll show you in a second to do the voice for you so basically you can choose one of these templates so let's go ahead and select one of these and we'll take a look and see what it looks like so choose whatever way you want to go and you can now choose your uh, aspect ratio that you want to use maybe it's for 9 by 16 or 16 by 9 or 1 by 1 whatever it is you want to use and uh, we'll just use this first one here uh, but there is a corporate one which looks quite nice maybe i'll do this one afterwards so let's go ahead and choose this and we'll process the video so let's go ahead and we'll choose this corporate one here and we can now choose one of these here so i'll probably go with say 16 by 9 uh, but you can choose whatever one you like now, once uh, you've done this, you can click continue and what it's, uh, picture is going to do is go off and check the video library and basically add these into some sort of story format where you can then uh, produce this and basically uh, upload it to a social media uh, site like YouTube or something like that. Now, I've not edited the text properly yet. I need to remove the intro music plays and all of the narrator from the text, which I'll do, and voiceover. I'll take all this out and we'll finish it off. Now, you can see it's selected a bunch of videos that it recommends. Now, the AI is still learning and it's not perfect. So I can go in here and change these manually, and I'll show you how to do that uh, right now. So let's go ahead and change some of these uh, videos that the AI has chosen for us. So we're going to go ahead and change this image here, this video here, to something more appropriate, which is this calendar here for schedule backup. So we'll go ahead and choose this and replace the uh, writing there. So you can see it's now chosen uh, this one here for us, and this is much more uh, for what I want. So I'm going to go ahead and change some of these other ones here. And uh, you can see here, there's a bunch of them inside here. Like this one here uh, is important to include your documents. So it's showing a document, but you might want to uh, change this to something else. But you could leave this video on here as it is a document and you, you might be getting ready to scan those documents. So let's go ahead and see what else we've got here to uh, use. So I'm going to go ahead and just show you the visuals part here. I'm going to remove this schedule here. and. Uh, we can see here, we can put in some sort of documents here. Let's have a look at this backup one here. This looks pretty good. We can use this maybe and uh, swap this out. So you can choose whatever ones you want. And uh, there's some other ones in here as well. So I'm just looking for something a little bit more what I'm looking for. So I think we'll just choose this one here and go with this one and change it. Now, of course, you can choose uh, better videos. You can take more time and to get your uh, text right, but you can get the idea here. So this is what I'm going to use here for this particular one. So I'm going to choose a couple of other uh, videos here for myself. So I'm just having a little look here for document backup and see what else we have here. So you may be wondering whether you can add uh, text to audio in this particular video. Well, you can, and uh, Petri will basically sync it as well. You can literally go to this website here, which is another AI website, which you can put in a title, choose whatever category you want here, and continue with your project and create it. It will use the script that you've got from ChatGPT, and it will basically create an audio file for you, which you can then uh, submit this to Pictory, which will add this into your video and sync it which will be pretty awesome if you want to do it. Now, it's not free, 
uh, some of these sites are paid so you have to bear that in mind I'm using a free version at the moment so I won't be able to download the audio and use it unfortunately because you have to pay and I'm not going to pay just to show you how to do this particular thing with chat GPT now these are all professionals and there's plenty of them to choose from so whether you want a, a girl or a boy or a young person or an older person you can choose one of these here there's plenty to choose from so once you've made your person choice, you can just basically paste in your script, which you got from chat GPT and you just paste it inside here. And then what you can do is you can see here split script by paragraph. So it will basically uh, split it all up into a nice paragraph for you. You can choose one of these characters and then basically create your audio. So let's go with uh, Ethan here and I'll quickly paste in from uh, the file that I've got here. So you can see here, we're gonna choose this one here, paste the script, and all you need to do now is it'll paste it inside here, which I did my clipboard. And again, you can change this and edit this to suit your needs. It will then build the audio file for you. Unfortunately, you do have to pay uh, for this particular type of feature. I can delete some of this intro music plays and voiceover and a bunch of other things on here as well. That's what I advise you to do because obviously you don't want those saying intro music plays in the video. So are these paid or are they free? Well, these are paid features. So when you go to download them voice only, you can see here, you go to download and it will say upgrade now. You can't download the free versions. You do need to pay. And that can be said for a lot of the AI websites like Pitchery and also this one here. So what I'm gonna do here is I'll show you the pricing for both of these so you know exactly what you're getting into. And you can see the free version doesn't allow downloads, whereas the basic version uh, is going to cost you $19 uh, per month, which is quite a lot of money, really. But if you're using it on a daily basis, then you might get some use out of it. But I won't be using it. And the same thing for Pitchery, really. Uh, you can see here I've got two, one more video left. And then after that, you can choose whether you want the standard premium or enterprise. And again, $19 a month for the standard, that gives you 30 videos per month, up to 10 minutes and text a video, 10 hours of video, and so on and so on. You can read it right there on the screen. So these are not free and they are quite expensive depending on what you're going to be using it for. So if you're looking to use this on a regular basis, then by all means, uh, the video content will be pretty good because you do get access to thousands and thousands of videos. So as you can see here, um, 15,000 music tracks, uh, 42 AI voices, and you've got a bunch of other stuff if you go for the premium version here. So that is the paid uh, part of it. I just wanted to show that part, but we have got one here. I've finished the edit now, and I'll quickly preview this for you. I've edited all the text, and I've also uh, basically got all of the videos in place here and you can see what it does it does a pretty good job there would be music here and there would be voice if I added that in there is music on there but I've muted it as you can see this is not the paid version this is the free because we have the watermarks on here as well from Storyblocks and Pictory uh, AI as well we've got on there so if it's pretty cool the way they've done it and uh, there is more video on that I just stopped it there but you get the general idea so that's how you can use ChatGPT to create videos or content. Pretty straightforward stuff. And I uh, hope this video has been some sort of use to you. If you want to see more on ChatGPT, then let me know in the comments section. I'll be happy to make those videos for you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support. Catch you in the next one. Bye for now.